Hey, hello there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This predictive card reading covers September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Let's see what kind of energy influences are coming through for you for the weekend. Love or money. As a general reading, please only take what resonates with you. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. And your comment even earns you an entry to win a free reading. Thank you for those beautiful validations. I'm grateful for each and every one of them. Bless you guys. Please click, click on the description box below for more information. On with your reading, Virgo. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the weekend. It's the basis of the energies. It's the background. Number 18 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Moon. Number 18. The Moon. This is intuition and imagination and sometimes deception. There's dreams and there's fears and anxieties. This is also the card of Pisces. There's fantasies and hidden enemies, sometimes psychic talent. You may be feeling insecurities, and that's because you're unable to see how your actions are going to affect your future. But success will come. You just have to endure these secure insecurities, and you are on the correct path. So pay attention to dreams and hunches. You may be feeling moody and going through some emotional tests. Listen to your instincts. And the moon has to do with your feelings and how you respond. Your second card, and this is what's crossing over your path. This is what may challenge you. Number 12, another major card in the Rider Waite deck. Number 12, the Hanged Man. This is a sacred pursuit. And you're feeling suspended between the past and the future. There's a pause. And you're waiting. And you're having to cope with the lay. You feel like you're in limbo. You may, may, you may have to make a sacrifice. There is a new direction in your life in the making. There can stand for a person who will not be moved until they're ready. But this is a time to pause and consider. There's going to be peace and self-reliance. There's a new perspective. And you're going to be in review and having to have patience. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This could be you, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The King of Pentacles. This could be a wealthy, mature man. Could be an investor who's going to profit from you sometime in the future. This is a dependable, solid citizen. And they're kind to others. There's, this stands for security. And you're supposed to express your needs and undertake what should be done and just do it. This person takes few risks. They're disciplined. They have their eye on the bottom line. This is a thoughtful, sensual person who treasures comfort. He is generous, calm, and patient, and a very good family man. Your fourth card, and this is the future. It's the outcome. It's the results. The Six of Cups, Virgo. The Six of Cups stands for happy memories. This is looking back, being nostalgic, there's some kind of past effort that's going to bring future rewards. This is receiving a gift. Could be surprises. You're to be open for nurturing. And there's an emotional conversation connected to your past that will shed light on your future. Something is going to be done from the heart. And treat new people with kindness and affection. And in some cases, thoughts of a past love still haunt the questioner and you'll be fondly reminiscing. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. The Queen of Swords, air energy. 
the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is an independent, mature woman with authority. They have strong will. They have a keen mind. They could be a writer or a lawyer or a minister. They think things through. They're strong-willed and able to cope with a loss. This person can provide solutions with truth and honesty. They see with clarity. They accept life as it is. They give good advice with clarity and wisdom. Professional counsel may be needed. Thank you so much, Virgo. Please subscribe and visit me for your next weekend reading. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive. Love and light.